up in Newport State Park up in Door County, Wisconsin. We're gonna do about three or four miles to the south end of the park, which is right on Lake Michigan. Spend the night, hope for a dark sky, because this park is registered as the 48th dark park in the world. If it's a clear sky, there's no light pollution for about 15 miles in every direction. There's a good chance we could see the Milky Way and a billion stars. But it's a beautiful October 15th, 2019, and we're just getting started. view of Lake Michigan. Well, we've come to the fork in the road. This way is wooded and foresty. This way is on the shore of Lake Michigan. I think we'll go to the shore and then coming out tomorrow we'll come back up this way. Apparently most of the campsites were booked up for the weekend. That's why I decided to come up on a Monday, stay overnight till Tuesday. Nobody's here today. <laughs> That'll work for me. Indians used to mark the trail by taking a small sapling and bending it at a 90 degree angle and bending it up again at a 90 degree angle. After all these years later, these trees still grow and are still in that shape. So I guess according to the Indians, we're on track. <laughs> We're about halfway to Ellison Bay, and that's where the campsites begin. I guess they're between half mile increments. We're staying at nine. So we'll take a peek at some of the ones I passed up, because like I said, these were all full over the weekend, but I think I'm the only one out here today. I think I saw that campsite 13 was reserved, so. They'd probably be about a mile away from where I'm at. Site number three. It looks pretty sharp. They have these uh, food canisters. That way you can lock up your food at night without hanging a bear bag to keep bears and critters out of your food stash. They come with a couple little benches to sit on fire pits are nice because I've got a grill. Should have brought a ribeye with me. <laughs> Down here I guess there's access to the lake. I'm gonna go ahead and open up this pack and get me a snack. Didn't eat much breakfast today so we'll see what kind of goodies we got in here. Oh here's something interesting. This here is what's called a Lucy light. It's a lantern that charges in the sun. There's the solar panel there. What you do is, after it charges up, you have an indicator to tell you how much charge you have, and you can set it for low, medium, high, or strobe. This is also inflatable. Pop this, inflate it, it turns into a totally cool lantern you can hang in your tent or hang at your campsite and really light up the place. So we'll see how that works tonight. First time I'll be using that thing. Smash Pop-Tarts. This is campsite number three's little water access trail. Oh, 
wondering if that looks like deer prints there. And human. Well, we've made it to our home, away from home. This is campsite number nine. Pretty close to the water. We're out on a peninsula called Varney Point, and it juts right out to the middle of the lake. We'll take the little side trail and see what we got. Probably either pitch the tent there. Mm, I don't think, not there. Yeah, here, here, or over there. Got our fire pit. Looks like somebody left us a little bit of firewood. And it looks like the rangers left some sawed up fence posts that, wow, that ought to burn good in a while. <laughs> Let's go see what we got down here. If I need water, I can take my Sawyer Mini and filter Lake Michigan water, I guess. Ah, oh, yeah, this orc. We better get to work, set up camp, and gather some firewood. It's going to get chilly tonight for sure. Probably down in the mid 30s. Maybe not that cold. Get to work. Here's the reason I bring this Swedish Sven saw. I'll show you that when I put it together. Somebody left some firewood here. It looks like they tr tried to cut this stuff with an ax there and there. That's too much like work. This saw will make real quick work of that stuff. <laughs> Well, camp is all set up in about 25 minutes with the saw. We're good. Kitchen set up, shelter set up, food storage set up, Lucy light set up. Guess it's time to make a cup of coffee and relax for a bit. <laughs> we'll fire up some water, have us a cup of coffee.
stove top stuffing and applewood smoked chicken. Dinner is on. Here's a really cool piece of gear that I've got. Um, when you got your electronics out here, cameras and cell phones and whatnot, um, you can get a 10,000 milliamp battery pack that you charge at home, and then you just plug in your charge cords to it, and it'll charge an iPhone probably upwards of four to almost five times. I just charged mine completely, and Still got four bars left to it, so there's a lot of power packed in that little thing. It's about the size of a deck of cards, and it's 10,000 milliamp. Awesome little piece of gear to keep everything charged up while you're out in the woods. Pretty cool. <laughs> getting cold, getting dark. Time to get this campfire going. <laughs> Birch bark, nature's gasoline. Is that Lucy light? It's a pretty amazing thing. <laughs> it is like super bright. Put it over here on this post. That way you light everything up nicely. Coffee by the fire. <laughs> 